one of the questions we had was how to wire the dimmer switch in. So you've got three wires. One's power in. Flick the switch one way, it lights up one wire. Flick the switch the other way, it lights up the other wire. And all you've got is that piece there with three contacts. So you put your live feed into the middle one. So your centre pin is spring loaded. That sits in there just on those round pieces and forms a rocker. So one way or the other, click, click, yeah. Mm -hmm. So that sits in there. Okay. So that's your contact live in the middle. So if you flick it one way, it powers up that pole. If you flick it the other way, it powers up that pole, yeah? Yeah. So that's basic switch. There's one that's wired up. Look. Okay. Okay. So that is it. That's basically all you've got. There's a little, once that's in there, that only goes in one way. You've got a wide piece and a narrow piece, yeah? Mm -hmm. Narrow piece goes nearest that end, the switch end. And that brings it over. Then in there, one of these stupid things see those little tags tiny little tags yeah they fit in those two slots there okay on both sides once you're putting it all together that holds the switch into that so if you unscrew that off the handlebars it doesn't all fall apart so you've got to solder the wires into there that goes underneath there and if you look so you've got a screw hole there a screw hole there mm -hmm. so that if that goes on that side that leaves you enough room because your switch is over that side that way yeah so that leaves you enough room for the wires to come out of there and get into that all oh, right yeah if you did it the other way round, soldered it on the wrong way round, yeah you'd have to put the switch in that way and then you won't get the wires up through the hole yeah so that spare area in there is to basically to get the wires up back into the handlebars, yeah? We know that goes that way. Your narrow bit is that side, so we want our wires to come in that way, yeah? Yeah. And you want to get them so that there's enough coming through, yeah? Mm hmm Now, the correct way of wiring these is your feed in is red to the junction box, red and black. So that would be your centre pin. And in those two, doesn't matter which side you do them, they just go out to the headlamp, yeah? yeah? Now I've wired it, because this is different, it hasn't got the top plate on it and everything, this black wire was longer, which is black and red. So I've wired that, that'll be my live feed in. Because on a WLA, there's another plate here that sits on top and you have two two junctions there. Yeah. Yeah? But we're not going to use that because it's wired up because it's a sort of more of a custom sort of bother thing. So, so I'm using that as my live feed in. So they go, that he goes in the middle. So we want to be that way. Smudge the ends over a little bit. So it's holding itself. Okay. So you come through there, spread your wires out a little bit, solder an iron nice and hot. So get a little bit on the end. You have to hold it on there for quite a while. Get a nice blob of solder on the end of there. Keep heating it, keep heating it, keep heating it. Just blob a bit down and that'll run down inside the tube, yeah? Oh, okay. So that's literally all you need. So that is on there nice and tight, yeah? Just take any edges off that are in the way or anything like that. Unfortunately, you can't really tell where everything's going to end up but right it's nice and solid right so these two doesn't matter which side they go as long as you've got your live feed into the middle yeah mm -hmm. so 
he's through. Smudge him over a bit. Oh, that's got plenty down in there. If you get it hot enough, you can, as you feed the solder, if it's not building up around the outside, you know it's going down the tube. Yeah. So you know you've got a good contact. You can almost physically watch it go down there. Oh, it doesn't take long to go off, so that's all good. Right, now we can put it into the switcher. Yeah? Craig wanted this light switch put on because it's a old and battered okay as he likes to look which is fair play so what i do make sure the springs in there yep right just put a little tiny tiny bit of grease on those two areas there because these are open to the elements all the time and you get one of these where this has worn down the baker light or whatever it is has worn down mm. and they're really notchy to push the switch over so just put that little bit of grease on there just helps it roll over you know and making sure that your spring is in there so that's got bounce on it yeah it's a tiny tiny little spring that there's another one there see it very very small pop him in there Good enough. Sweet. Put in that. Goes in there. Bend your wires that way. Right. And you've got this piece here. Okay, mm -hmm. tiny, tiny little dots. You see, can you see those two little holes there? You want to bend that in a curve that way, yeah. and put it back that way. So your two little slots, fiddly ass job, but yeah. All right, that's those two in, yeah. Mm -hmm. See them just come through, yeah. Then you push those ones down. Hear it click in? Yeah. Then just press on that. Okay? And that holds it in. Like I say, these switches are funny things, but it's not a good design at all, but it, that's it, basically. Pull those back out of there. Obviously, I've wired this up different. You just have your wire and it goes to a junction block. So that's your power in, coming from your dash panel on the light switch, yeah? Up through the handlebars, into the switch, out of the switch, one way or the other feeds the headlamp. So then you've got a wiggle, pulling and wiggling and jiggling and playing around with all of these. Until they all pull through. whilst not pulling your horn wire out. Okay. Right. Now we've got to line him up with a hole. Try and get that one started. Sometimes where the holes are so full of crap and stuff, you just have to run a tap up through them. So that's it, there's nothing complicated about it. These switches are just horrible. Sometimes it's easier just to push them in. So like if you're trying to pull that, if you push it up, just click over, oh, yeah? yeah. Right, I don't know what's going on with this horn button because it's got two wires. It shouldn't have two wires. It should only have one. Okay. 
So let's try and get that apart. All right. What we got here? Hmm. Must be a repro thing. It's basically, your power goes to the horn, comes out the horn, and goes to that. If you just touch that to earth, that'll make the horn work. Yeah. But this, I haven't seen one of these. It must just sit on that ridge there. Okay. So what we can do, it's, it's not, it's not as it should be wired up. That's your, that's your live wire. That wire goes back to earth and see that that red piece holds the outside of the spring so you're not shorting out okay so when you press that down with the horn button it will just touch that outer ring the inner ring see the brass bit yeah so that will literally just touch that and that'll make the horn work so mm -hmm. what we'll do is that we'll strip it back put a little tiny loop on it and when we screw it to the handlebars, we'll just put that earth wire to that. So that'll work, yeah? But that's <coughs> not how a WLA-1 is wired in. So basically you've got your push button, your spring. That spring sits on that collar there. Yeah? Your wire goes up through that hole. Okay? <coughs> and that goes on the outside. So when it's all clamped on there, you've got an earth contact. When you push that horn button down, it just pushes the two contacts together and makes the horn work. So it basically, mm. the extra wire we've got in that is just simulating that. Yeah. That'll do. That goes that way. That goes that way. Spread that around a bit. Right. Contact going over to that other bit of solder. That's a nice contact on the other bit. Spring clips in there. That goes in the spring. in there and we've got to push him back in the hole we've got a little lip there which goes in that little hole there slots again yeah mm -hmm. right so what we'll do We'll just strip that wire back, just a tiny bit, and just smudge him underneath there. Okay. So as you do the screw up, you know that's your earth point, yeah? Yeah. That's all it'll need. As long as we've got a good contact there. Let's put our horn wire through. Get our two little screws. That's your basic wiring for that lot done. Very good. Cool.